Shut up, fucking kid. Who's with the kids now? <laughs> Here's my mask. Oh god. We'll wait so I don't have to smack him up too early. Yes, I'm ready for media. I'm ready for the questions. Probably they're gonna ask about Ronda Rousey, always. I think eventually like we'll pass and the next fight they're gonna just talk about, you know, my fight and how I'm feeling for the next one, so I'm excited. So we're headed to Media Day. We just saw our name and our face on the billboard when we left the arena. It was pretty cool. Ryan, how you doing? Well, good, yeah. Damn, that's skill. That looks hard. <laughs> what, he looks yeah. upstairs? Fuck yeah, but going down is the worst. Ooh, I can't even imagine. Dude, I'm gonna say Kat and then Gunna looks hot as fuck. Oh, oh, dude, just compliment her, not be a bitch. Brian, we're in Las Vegas, co-main event. What, what's kind of the emotions you have now a few uh, days away from finals? Uh, I'm excited, man. I'm happy for this. It's, uh, it's a moment that came pretty fast, just because in terms of could Max Holloway got injured. The, the perfect ending would be to be the first fighter in UFC history to ever finish Frankie Edgar. There's three types of people, you know, I think you, there's martial artists, there's fighters, and then there's athletes. If you can put all those together, you're, you're, you're a pretty bad dude, and I, I think I've done that, but I'm a fighter first, and I'll never run away from a fight, you know, and uh, but that's why I think I took this fight, because I'm a fighter at heart. I know that there's going to be that fire in her, in her soul, you know, to come up to the win. We're really excited about this matchup. It's going to be a good challenge, so I'm ready. Oh, he just tried sticking his hand in my face. And, um, you know, he's doing a lot of talking, and don't disrespect me like that, you know what I mean? Should have countered him with the right hand. Did he punch your fist? Just slapped it. It makes me realize how bad he wants to hit me, which makes him slow, which he's not going to be able to hit me. So it worked out good. He's a great grappler, he's a great wrestler, and he's a top game guy. And I'm a great jiu-jitsu, and I'm a great bottom game guy. History has shown those are the best fights to make. Thanks, Jim, very much. Face the crowd. I do think I'm the best guy he's fought to date, and I don't think he has fought anybody like me. How does it feel to be here on the main event of the UFC 222? Yeah, I'm so excited for this fight. I saw uh, how Holly was fighting Crisco. It was five rounds. She won some rounds, and I worked with Holly all this. Uh, so I feel very good. I feel that I can win this fight. That is an awesome picture. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime, anywhere, you know, I'm ready for fight. I feel my weight's great, and I, I feel really good. Saturday, you know, it's in God's hands. I just have to do my best I can. Mexican. Now you see like all my, not all my family, but you know, there's some uh, dark brown roots that run in there, you know? I don't know what uh, kind of gene or chromosome I got, but I got that light skin one. Okay. The former Invicta Bantamweight champion. Guys, give it up for Yana Kunitskaya. All my career I find that when I'm trying to think about how a fight will go, it's not helping for me, it just make me nervous. So I'm trying more focus with uh, my mind and my team. They're trying, you know, all the same jokes and we're trying to do different things to relax. It's really helping. myself and I've been doubted early in my career, in the middle of my career, this part of my career, I feel like I, everybody doubts me and you can't pay attention to those people because you know they can muffle you a little bit so I try to just worry about myself and I'm confident in everything I do. When it's all said and done I'll definitely be, be one to say I told you so. You guys give it up for 
beat me up on stage, show the world, uh, although I'm the bigger brother, he's the stronger brother. When that door knocks, you open it, you know, and that's exactly what we did. We took advantage of that. Now here in Vegas, where it's like the dream and the mecca of fighting, I'm happy about it. I love it. Brian Ortega, Frankie Acker, give it up one more time. Thank you guys, thank you guys. We're gonna be doing some open workout and uh, she's gonna throw me. She doesn't know her own shrink. This girl. I felt it and I was like, holy shit. That's <laughs> true. Brought out a special guest, uh, two time UFC champion, BJ Penn. That's <laughs> really creepy looking too. Yeah, he's gonna come out and mug Chris and see what happens from there. Hey, Cyborg's ready. I can feel it. You can tell, you know what it is? It's not the skills at this point. She knows she's number one. That's what it is at this point. About to, about to open this open workout. We were going to just do our own, like, yeah, somewhere else, but we didn't have any mats. Already. I was going to crash it, but now I think they're letting me uh, get my own spot, so. Either way, we're, we're going to run this. Go. Go. Saturday night. Be a kill. You know, I want that big, 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 big,